Thanks to current micro-technologies, the building of fully autonomous off-road micro-robotic systems weighing less than 100 grams, with typical dimension of 10 centimeters, can now be considered. Impressive functionality, comparable to the one of robots belonging to the kilogram class, can be achieved by the systematic use of micro-technology components for all subsystems, including the payload. Space applications, especially for planetary exploration, could well benefit from such systems through their use in a swarm, allowing simultaneous measurement around a lander or larger mobile robot. In this case, they could be simply distributed to cover an area of several square meters in record time, and once their measurement campaign is completed, could then get back to their host autonomously. As part of a technology research project funded by the European Space Agency, EPFL and its partners has built a PCB design to demonstrate the interest and impact of microtechnologies in space robotics. The PCB consists of a very small robot prototype called Nano Rover. This robot, weighing just 40 grams, is a fully functional wheeled rover, able to move at 1 centimeter per second. Its dimensions are 11 centimeters in length, 6 centimeters in width, and 4 centimeters in height. The Nano Rover is built around four key microtechnology elements a microcontroller, a CMOS micro camera, a low power RF transceiver, and four micro motors. The body of the Nano Rover is made up of two printed circuit boards linked with a mechanical articulation providing two degrees of freedom. The first allows the axis of the wheel axle to rotate with respect to the other wheel axle, thus optimizing the motor's effects whilst the rover is turning. The second degree of freedom allows rotation about the longitudinal axis, ensuring maximum adaptability to rough terrain. Its symmetrical construction allows it to operate both face up and face down, maintaining ground clearance of 1.3 centimeters in either case. This geometry allows the Nano Rover to remain operational despite a fall or even a throw. As can be seen, the rover is able to negotiate rough terrain. To demonstrate that autonomous control can be implemented on a simple microcontroller, we implemented an obstacle avoidance capability on the Nano Rover. Using its CMOS camera and two flashing diodes, the rover can make a comparison between a normal picture and a lit one, extracting a simple depth perception of its frontal environment. An onboard system allows the determination of the center of gravity of the obstacle and provides instructions to avoid it. Using its transceiver, the Nano Rover is able to receive instructions and to transmit data to a computer. Simple software allows pictures to be taken by the CMOS micro camera to be displayed, demonstrating how it can be used by the Nano Rover to produce high and low resolution views of its environment, as well as presenting the results of the onboard obstacle detection. To develop a Martian version of the Nano Rover, the next step is the identification and implementation of low mass shielding technology, allowing the use of standard components for almost every subsystem.